Shadi's dusty because Shadi has not filmed in a really long time. I'm zooming in on the scenery, not your face. I still don't want to be in it. You open her up. Oh yes, period panties galore. Undies everywhere. They look massive, but they do fit. Yes, yes, that's good, that's good. Glad they fit, but my period is coming. First impressions? It is a little ASMR moment. Stay tuned. My hospital logo is right here, so that's how I'm doing this. I'm definitely going to start my period tonight at work. I don't know if I'm going to keep them on or if I'm going to put them on whenever I start so that I can know. I don't know if you can see that line, but... There's the underwear, and then here's the shorts, and then this will be over top of it as well. I want to do that because I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm real scared that she's going to leak through, and I'm really not trying to leak at work. Like, that's just unfortunate. At least if that happens, then I'll have that barrier of the shorts. I think I'm not going to wear these to work. Pack them with these shorts so that I can just know, like, what time that I start. Also, I don't want to wear them if I don't even start tonight that'd be unfortunate just wanted to come on here before the journey begins i guess i'll see y'all in the morning it's currently like 4 40 on december 13th don't mind my hair is raining and you know obviously i just got off 12 hour shift you know what i wanted to do though i'm gonna eat my biscuit while i talk to y'all because they got us breakfast this morning which is very nice i know this is real weird but i'm really not trying to be like Covering up my thing every five seconds. So I'm just gonna wear a post now. Whatever. I'm not changing because I'm dirty, so there's no point in that. So normally I don't do this. Normally I go shower first. But my things did not leak. I also feel like my period was not as heavy as it normally is the first night. I feel like I should have worn one of the lighter ones instead of wasting this good one, but whatever. It's just hard when I work nights because my period is like very weird. Night shift just like throws everything off. They're really comfortable. I never really felt me bleed, which is weird because whenever pads I do, and I don't know if this is because it's so snug that I didn't or that I literally didn't bleed. I'll let you know how. Clean up and all the things out because you're supposed to like rinse it out in the sink. So I guess I'll let you know how much blood comes out whenever. I'm not going to show you. You know what I'm saying. I'll let you know. Okay. Don't mind my look. It's a little after 12. I woke up from a nap. I was thinking that like I was going to go all day with the moderate hip hugger. I had already almost leaked. Like it had leaked out into the outside rim. It hadn't leaked out onto like the shorts yet. But I went ahead and changed into the super hip hugger. Even though it's technically for like the second to last day. But I really didn't want to wear anything moderate because I feel like it's just way too heavy for moderate. I don't know what would have happened if I would have not changed it. I don't know if it would have leaked. I don't know if it would have just stayed in there. But I wasn't gonna, you know, risk for the biscuit just to see. But it just sucks because it hadn't even, I mean, it had been a little over three hours. Like maybe four hours. And it says it holds three tampons worth, but I don't fill up three tampons worth. I'm gonna wear these super hip packers and hoping that these are going to last me through the day and hopefully they'll last me through the night keep you updated okay so it's now nine o'clock on thursday i actually wore those until this morning so i wore them for 21 hours ish and they didn't leak i probably honestly could have worn them longer i don't know but there was quite a bit of blood like it was definitely it took a lot longer to rinse those out than it did all the other ones so i would see myself repurchasing maybe like the heavy or the super i'm wearing the moderate sport ones right now so we'll see how they go today today would be my it's really confusing whenever I start on night shift because I feel like you know it's daytime when I'm at work. I just started Tuesday night which is kind of crazy because it's Thursday and I feel like it's been like three days since Tuesday but it's just because I worked night shift as I said. They're super comfortable. Sometimes I'll get like self-conscious and feel like the gusset part that goes up to like my butt I feel like it's like sticking out but like it's really not. I asked for new people at work. I was kind of like do I want to do things? Do I want to try a disc? Because I've tried a menstrual cup and it's not worked for me so I've been seeing things about a disc. The things were on sale so I was like no I just want to try these and then I was like man should I not have because they'd be like wearing a pad all the time and so then I'm gonna be feeling myself bleed but it's like way more comfortable than a pad could ever be I think it's way more convenient than a tampon and a pad because normally when I wear a tampon I still wear a pad just being able to slip them on and then like yeah you have to rinse them out but that's not that big of a deal because you're gonna wash your hands after you were to put on your tampon or take out your tampon you would have washed your hands I just rinse out my underwear and then I wash my hands and it like doesn't really add much 
time or thought or anything and then when i was like laying in bed last night i was like oh my gosh i haven't put one thing in the trash i hadn't even thought of that yet i was just thinking about like the comfort the feel like it not leaking like all those things but then i was like i literally have not thrown anything away which is like crazy because i feel like my period is like probably one of the most wasteful times of like my daily life so i don't know i'm really impressed but i am nervous to be wearing a moderate today because that's what i was wearing yesterday and it only lasted three hours that's my little update i guess it's gonna be mostly vlog style which i didn't really realize i thought i was gonna try them out for a week and then just like report back but i think this is a lot better videoing in between because then i actually like remember exactly what i wore on that day what happened on that day i guess i'm gonna pack the boy shorts just in case they're both just moderate i'm real nervous about the moderate i feel like what i should have done was worn the moderate hip huggers on the first night because i wasn't like bleeding that much i guess when i start at night like my night is like super light and then the next day is when it starts but i wore my heavy hip hugger when i should have worn my normal hip hugger and then i could have worn my heavy hip hugger the next day i'll talk to y'all hopefully tonight because that would mean that i wore these all day we shall see i'm very sad to report that i think the moderate ones just do not work because it's been i guess four hours and i don't know how they're saying i was supposed to wear a moderate one all day because the same thing happened and i have like a clean pair to show you basically what happens which is really unfortunate because all i have left now is the boy shorts and these and the boy shorts are also moderate if the boy shorts ones are only gonna last me three hours then that's really unfortunate but if the boy shorts ones last me all day and all night then that'd be great but i don't think it would because it's moderate which i normally am heavier in the morning and then like kind of like lighter throughout the day it would make sense for that to happen so this is the clean pair and what happens is i'm wearing the sport ones right now and it's like all here even like this time it's gone i think it just leaked from here i don't know if it leaked actually through this but it like went around here because i was gonna try and like experiment for y'all and see if like if i were to continue wearing these would it leak because i checked my leggings and my leggings don't have anything on them which i don't know how because like whenever i you touch it it's not wet like i don't get anything on my finger but it's cold so like i feel like it would be like leaking through soon so i'm gonna rinse these out and i guess put on the moderate i kind of just want to put on a regular pair of underwear with a pad just because like i really want to save the boy shorts for tonight and i mean you know it's not my fault <laughs> so that's my update i'm just gonna put it i really hate to put in a tampon because i've loved not like making any waste but i literally don't have like anything else to do like I guess I could put on the moderate ones. Maybe I should just put on the moderate ones and then have those washed so that I can wear one tomorrow. Maybe I can wear the moderate one tonight too. So I ended up putting on the boy shorts because I talked myself out of it. I'm gonna have extra ones anyways because I'm about to wash them. So it's now midnight and so I've had these on for 11 hours. I think it was one o'clock when I checked in last time. I haven't leaked, but also these are the only black pair I have. So it'd be kind of hard to tell if I leaked, but I tried to kind of like feel around and see and like it hasn't really gone to the edges either because you can see like in the gusset i think i might just keep these on tonight because what's the worst that can happen it leaks out onto my pants a little bit and i really don't think i'm going to be that heavy tonight but also all of my ones that i washed are wet still hopefully they'll be ready by tomorrow so i think i'm just gonna risk it guess i'll talk to y'all in the morning i'm probably gonna wear my heavy ones tomorrow even though i know i'm not gonna be heavy i'm really just not trying to wear the moderate ones and then have to worry about checking after three hours i'm probably still gonna carry another pair just in case just because i feel like it'd be kind of dumb to not have another pair because the thing is if you leak it's not just like oh you have to change your pad or your tampon or whatever this is literally your underwear and your pad you're screwed so i would probably recommend just always is having a pair on you just in case because you just didn't even know her. So that's my update because so I'll see you in the morning. So I ended up wearing the boy shorts all throughout the night and it was fine. They didn't leak. I don't think I really bled that much last night. And then I have the heavy hip huggers on. Now, one thing I've noticed is this might be TMI, but what isn't at this point? It is very skin tight. So I really don't think there's any breathing happening while they're on. So I definitely feel like there's more ventilation whenever I'm wearing other products. To me, it's worth it. I know, crazy. I'm wearing makeup. What? Would have thought. So yeah, I'm gonna go have a fun day. Oh, I did want to see how bad the lines are. If there are lines with my jeans, I don't know if I've told you about them yet, but they're my thrifted mom jeans. I don't think there's lines, which is good. I love to see it. 
I really just need to start turning this on while I get ready because I'm always running late because for some reason I literally cannot get out of bed any morning after three night shifts because I have just struggled every single morning getting up. I'm wearing this new sweater that I thrifted. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I just thought it was like so funky and fun that I couldn't not get it. I just wanted to update you on the undies. Yesterday I wore the heavy ones all day. They were great. They were comfy. They didn't leak on me. So then I showered and then I put on the moderate hip huggers, which I shouldn't have done. I should have put on my super hip huggers and just worn them until like tonight. I just didn't even think about it. I was just like, oh yeah, next in line is moderate hip hugger. At this point, it's my fourth day. So last night shouldn't have been that heavy. Once again, I put on my freaking moderate hip hugger in this morning. Yes, I did wear them all night. But if you think about it, the boy shorts that I have were moderate and I wore those all day and throughout the night. It was like the worst leaked I've ever seen like so far. It was like pretty much half of the gusset on the bottom was like it was leaked out into. There was a little bit on my pajama pants. I had to look really hard though because at first I didn't see anything and I was like there's no way that it didn't leak and it was just like a little spot. I just don't get it with the moderate ones. I don't understand why they're so problematic. Even though the boy short didn't do anything. So I guess it's just this and then the sport. And then I was going to put on the sport today, but then I was like, I don't want to risk that not being enough, even though it should be because it's literally my fourth day. I'm going to get coffee with my small group leader slash mentor today. That's the hard thing is like, I don't know how much I'm bleeding. To me, I bled three tampons worth last night, but I'm like, I've never used three tampons ever, like even in a day. So I don't really understand. But then also I'm like, I wonder how many pads that is. At night, I would never wear tampons, I would wear pads. Definitely let me know down below if y'all have tried things and how they've worked for you and if you have the same experience with moderate because I think that a lot of people end up buying the moderate because they're like, oh, I'm not that heavy. I'm not like mad about anything right now. I just have my plan of like what I'm gonna buy. I feel like I need more than I thought I did anyway. So that's my update. <laughs> Okay, so I'm editing this like a month later, but I just looked on the website and it says that for the moderate, it should be one and a half pads worth. And I only ever use one pad throughout the night, so I really don't know what that's about. I honestly don't think the moderate ones hold as much as they say they do, but for some reason, the boy shorts work for me. I'm on my period right now, so I'm getting to test them out again. I don't know if I'm gonna do like an updated video, maybe after I purchase some more or just put it in a vlog or something. I feel like I kind of know what I should use when a lot better now. So I'm definitely taking that into consideration. I think that I still do need more than I thought that I did because I could probably use like two more pairs at least. That's a little bit of an update. Yes, this is very outdated. I know there was Christmas jazz at the beginning, but it's because I got these in December and tried them out in December, but I just wanted to post my 2022 reflection at first. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. There's kind of some good words in this video. Anyways, let's resume with the testing. It is now Monday. I wore the moderate sport ones on Sunday. Last night I put on the air bikini, they're the light ones, and I wore those throughout the whole night. I haven't really bled that much at all. I didn't really bleed that much yesterday either. But the only thing with the air bikini is I feel like these are a lot tighter than all the other pairs. The material is thinner, so you'd think that it'd be more comfortable, but the band is a lot tighter. They kind of give me a wedgie a little bit more than the normal ones, so that's kind of unfortunate. But I feel like the main thing is, on my quiz, either my heavy or my moderate days, it said that I could wear the moderate ones for 12 hours, just two pairs a day. But as you all saw, I literally cannot wear the moderate ones for more than like three to four hours without them leaking on my, I would say those are my more moderate days. I wouldn't say those are my heavy days. I would say that on that normal day, I would have been wearing like a tampon and then a pad. I would have never leaked through the pad, but like the tampon would have leaked in the pad, if that makes sense. It said it holds three teaspoons, which should be like three tampons. And I never go through three tampons. So that's why it was mind blowing to me that those leaked because I don't feel like I ever go through three tampons. I feel like the sweet spot is the heavy one. The super one is like kind of a lot, especially for a 12 hour period, I'd say. I think that the super one is better for when you want to wear one for like almost 24 hours. I personally love the concept of period underwear. Thanks in specific, because I obviously haven't tried any other brand. I think that they're comfortable. I think they're way more comfortable than wearing a pad. Pretty much all my friends have had the question of like, do you feel yourself bleed? Most of us are tampon wearers, so it goes from, you know, being plugged up where you don't feel any of your blood coming out to feeling like you're wearing a pad all the time. That's what you think is gonna happen, but I 
rarely felt myself bleed like rarely i feel like the only times that i really felt myself bleed was whenever i was like busting at the seams and i was real wet when i was like leaking per se even though i never really leaked into my pants it was always just to the outer whatever's of the underwear i didn't feel full whenever i was wearing them but the second i took them off and if i put them back on afterwards like it was cold down there like i felt wet before i did that i didn't i think it's just because it's so close to your skin and there's really not any air getting in there which i feel like is kind of a bad thing i had already talked about this a little bit but i really feel like there's no breathing especially with like the tighter pairs like the sport ones or like these bikini ones like i feel like there's no air getting in there which is can't be good at the 24 hour mark it starts to smell a little bit like period i just figured i'd say that so i would say if you want to try these i highly recommend them because i really do love them and i will be using them and i love that i didn't use any waste they were so much more comfortable I feel like now that I kind of know what I need to do, I'm going to know a lot better because that night where I was like, oh, I should have put the super on that night and not use the monitor. I haven't worked out the kinks yet, obviously, but I feel like that will be the next one. I kind of know more about each of the pairs. I say if you're interested, take the quiz. I might link. If you use the link and buy it, then like you get $10 off, I get $10 off. We're just helping each other out. It's just a link that you send your friends. So if I can, I'll link that down there so y'all can get $10 and also give me $10. When you take the quiz though, put in those things and if it tells you to wear a moderate for 12 hours i would disregard that unless it's like a light day i wouldn't even say if you're a moderate like person all the time like i would go for the super and then the heavy and then get moderate for your like last day that's not spotting if that makes sense or like your second to last day and your last day where you're not like completely done there's still obviously like blood coming out but it, you're not just like spotting because i feel like spotting would be like what the air bikini that's what that would be for because it's like a very light absorbency and it basically feels like you're wearing normal underwear but the moderate would be like for like a notch right before that let me know if you have a different experience with the moderate but like i said the boy short moderate worked a lot better than the other two moderates so i don't know i guess that's gonna be my review because i don't really have anything else to say the cleaning process wasn't terrible if i would take a shower then i would just take them in there with my shower and then i'd rinse them out there you go boom done and if i took them off in the morning i just rinse them out in the sink hang them up on the tub it's not a big deal i really think that the dirtiness of cleaning the underwear is the same or less dirty than having to like take off your pad wrap it up in toilet paper throw it in there like take out your tampon wrap it in toilet paper put it in there and then put in a new one and then put on a new but you know like it's literally just like you're taking off your underwear you're putting on a new pair and then you're rinsing it out and hanging it up i feel like it's a lot less work than tampons and pads are so i highly recommend them i definitely was skeptical i've wanted to try them for like over a year and a half maybe two years i will definitely be posting like an update whether that's in a vlog or maybe i'll do a whole nother video after i've gotten the hang of it or whatever this was basically just my first impressions of thanks period underwear i hope that y'all look into it maybe do some research maybe try them out and i think it's definitely possible like if you didn't want to commit to like all of the pairs like that you needed for your whole cycle it is very possible to like wash if you get to your last day you have one pair left on the day you're wearing those you wash your other stuff because i did that and that was fine and it doubled the amount that i had as i you know expand and learn that i literally love these and that's all i want to use for my period like it's obviously worth the investment because you won't ever be buying freaking pads or tampons ever again i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below this isn't exactly the content that i normally do but i kind of just do all the random things about sustainability i vlog i do some schools stuff food i just love all the things if you want to see more about my life learn more about these period underwear in the future learn more about sustainability casually healthy cooking casually i'm not like this is my channel this is what it's about i just kind of like do whatever the heck i want so if you want to stick around definitely subscribe and also please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it because that would help me out a lot because then maybe other people could find this video about period underwear and get to realize that it's actually maybe worth the hype and worth the try Thank you so much for watching. Bye.